I'm going to show you how to export a video inside Premiere Pro using YouTube's recommended upload encoding settings. First, you can select all your clips or mark your in and out point. Go to the end, mark out, and to the beginning, mark in. This way, everything between the in and out point will be exported. To export, you can hit the export button or go to File, Export Media, or use Ctrl or Command plus M. First, you can change the file name, and here you can select the location for your video. Now let's get into YouTube recommended upload settings. YouTube recommends MP4 and to achieve that you need the H.264 codec. You can use H.265 but at the time of this upload YouTube still recommends H.264. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Moving on to the video drop down menu. The first is progressive. And as you can see, my video is already progressive. So moving to the next is high profile. To find it, click on more. It's down here underneath encoding settings. The profile is already set to high. If you find it on main, you can change it to high. Now the variable bitrate and is probably the most important thing in your video export. Go down here underneath bitrate settings and we have CBR and VBR one pass and two pass. CBR stands for constant bitrate. VBR stands for variable bitrate. The difference between one and two pass is variable bitrate one pass use hardware encoding and is fast. But variable bitrate two pass use software encoding and take more time. YouTube recommends variable bitrate. And for me, I use one pass. For the bitrate, YouTube also recommends that. And like you see, this depends on your resolution. 1080p, 2K, 4K, and also your frame rate. 24, 30, 60. You can use this as a reference for your video. For me, I use 30 frames, it's more than enough. And because more bitrate means more and big estimated file size. And there are two other checkboxes, render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. Both of these will also give you the best quality. Underneath our video, we have audio. Here they say for stereo, you need 384 kilobytes. I have 320, let's change it. For the audio codec, it's AAC and 48 kilohertz. The last is the frame rate. Content should be encoded and uploaded in the same frame rate it was recorded. That means if you recorded your video at 60 frame, you need to edit and export at 60 frames to actually see that on YouTube. Finally, you can click on export and you're ready to upload on YouTube. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. Stay creative. Peace out.